so this morning we're popping out to go to the pool so we really haven't got time for breakfast so we're going to try out one of these plenty shakes which is a complete meal so these are perfect for like breakfast brunch or lunch if you're on the go if you haven't got time to cook anything but also what's great about these is that it has 26 vitamins and minerals 20 grams of protein per meal high in fiber low sugars and plant-based they do lots of different flavors so we've got the wild berry we have got the caramel sea salt this will probably be my favorite and then we've got the pistachio good morning everyone and welcome back to another batista family vlog i think stephanie might have already introduced it but I've just woke up and I thought I'd put my face on the camera to say hello to everyone. So Stephanie has been gifted um, a se selection of stuff, which I think she might have already shared with you guys. And I had a drink of the wild berry. And I must say, it's just got a, such a pick-me-up when you drink it. And it tastes really good. The only downside to it that I don't really like is that it's a little bit like um, oaty at the bottom. So it's got like a little bit of a thick texture at the bottom. And anyways, we're going to go, we're going, to, we're going swimming, Stephanie. We've got the swim pool booked, so we're gonna go down to the pool. The complex in itself, to me, I feel like it's a bit of a small complex. It's not like a huge one. It's not the smallest haven we've ever been to because we've been to like 20 something havens now. And um, this is a decent size, but it's not like massive and big. Like the other one on the other side of Scotland, um, that one in Ayrshire, it's it's really big, basically. Um, but Seaton Sands, oh, I just love the location. It seems like nice and cozy quiet, relaxed, um, the beach being opposite the bar and stuff, have a few drinks, then go out to the beach. So we're gonna go down to the pool, take you guys down with us, and then um, we'll take the day from there, guys. So we're just gonna pop to the laundrettes and the mini market to put a wash on, because already, guys, we need towels washed, and I thought that we're not going back to the pool, so I'll get them washed, just saves us on washing them when we get back home. So you've got the laundrettes over here, you've got the mini market here, and then I'll just turn you around. This is where the pool is, the back of the pool, and like the climbing frame and things like that. The climbing wall I mean. So they do different deals for the laundrettes. You can buy a combo pack for a jumbo, which I thought was good that they've got standard and jumbo, because we definitely need a jumbo, otherwise we have to do two washes, is £8.50 and that is for a wash and a dry which isn't actually a bad price I think that's pretty reasonable Maybe £5 each aren't they on other ones? Uh, like £5 and £2.50 dry or something isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, things like that yeah um, But like good. I said this is a jumbo one so yeah, they've got all that big bag in the Did one you? big go outdoor bag yeah Bag, it was a huge bag yeah <laughs> so I've got like four towels in there and a bunch of clothes in there We've just came back from the pool and gotten ready and everything like that. Um, the pool is like a big pool and you've got two slides there and then a little tiny pool for youngins like Khaleesi where they can just like walk around and play in the water and like just have fun. For some reason Khaleesi did not enjoy the pool this time. She was just scared. Um, she got like a little frightened every time there's like this big bucket and it kept like pouring over. And every time that happened, she got scared, um, which is understandable, but she just did not want to be in the water today. She didn't, which is so strange because it's the first time she's ever been like that. She's loved the pool since being a baby, guys, as you know, if you've been a long time subscriber. Um, but we were going to go on a hike, but because it's quite an overcast today, you wouldn't be able to see anything when we get to the top of the hike. So we decided not to do that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to stay on site and we're going to go to the restaurant a little bit later on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hands down, and this one down, my dad. Just to a nice swimming in the sea. Both of them down. Yeah, Both of them down. Yeah, they're swimming in the sea. Yeah, they're swimming in the sea. Yeah, they're swimming in the sea. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, and then go down. No. Your arms like that. And then your other arm like that. Now go. Push up. Keep it down. Can you put your head back. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Just try 
Yeah. So all you have to do is really just look, look, look ahead of you, and then you've done it. They got you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember when you did that? You well, for Halloween you were the Exorcist, and yeah. um, did you do the back bend as well? Yeah, I did it in Yeah, you did. I remember that one. Yeah. That was like three Hall- four Halloweens ago, maybe. Uh, we we'll have to rewatch that video because that was cool. Five years ago, maybe. Cause we did like a theme, didn't we? Did like a Vlogween theme. Yeah. 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 Then one of the days, wasn't it? When we were a little bit nuts. The thriller. The thriller. Right, it's it's spring, not October. Right, let's get into the spring season. You want that? Easter Bunny, Halloween. Well, yeah, the Christmas season already. Went to the Christmas shop in Edinburgh yesterday. I know. I know. There's some cool stuff in there as well. Yeah. She's a little daredevil like Logan, isn't she? Logan she was like that. She's a little daredevil like Logan, yeah. It's high. It's high. It's a slide. Oh, we don't have slides yet. She's looking behind the couch as well. Can you see that? Yeah. We're going to go for some food, then we're going to go to the park. Yeah, we'll go to, uh, go to a big slide. And kick your finger out, you know. Some tea. Some tea. Some tea. Some tea. Something for you. This one's yours, yeah. This one's yours, Caleb. Ooh, what nice one. Calicia, I'm not looking at that. Okay? Go on. She's giving you it. Ooh. Oh, 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 Shake it and then you spray. So do you know the um, sour licking things that yeah. you get in your lips? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that you slip. Yeah. Well, they are the spray one. So I'm guessing you spray it in your mouth. I'm not too sure. Yeah, that's spray paint. It has that even that little... Yeah, no, it has that paper. Like, thing to it. Let's um, try this out. <coughs> what do you do with these ones? Even though it does say pretty much. I'm just going to quickly show you these guys these are the bucket list books you get them for adults and you get them for children and inside it gives you a list of bucket list ideas so let's just find them for you you have pages where you can write about your adventures and we've got a space here for pictures some writing space and then in the back it gives you lots of ideas so learn a new magic trick have a BBQ go fruit picking build a bird feeder lots of things if you're struggling for ideas for kids which I absolutely love um, but I will leave the link down below for you guys so it's a little bit later on we are now heading down to the main entertainment complex we're gonna have a little look around to see what this place has to offer um, just on my left now we have a huge park and we also have the activity center i think it's the archery that they do over here as well so this is the park area as you guys can see over there looks like it's the archery tent where they do the archery so this is a different angle for you guys to have a look at and then straight ahead the main complex just up there So I've came to feed the family for £20 I'm going to see what we can get for £20 So for me and Stephanie it's 2 for 18 and then Khaleesi and Caleb are going to have a pound each spent on them for a kid's meal and then we're just going to pay for Dion's full meal for like 
whatever she wants basically and then drinks as well so I'll show you guys what you can get for two for 18. Well they have two double classics two for 18 they have also have the char grill chicken and bacon two for 18 and the corn for two for 18 and then they have this one over here the cauliflower and red pepper curry two for 18 as well so we're gonna have a choose between the curry the burger oh they also have the grill up there uh, two for 18 plus five pound each uh, plus five each from steak so you probably could pay a bit more for that one this one the gammon steak you're probably not going to and they've got loads of our pastas kids orders are complete um someone's gone for a mini burger someone's gone for some chicken nuggets they have got some veg going on over there and then we've also got some sides as well so that's how you fill it out guys just tick the box and away you go so have you decided what you want to go for yet? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to pick noodles yeah, that time when you were unwell, you were sick, weren't you? And you had noodles, and it's kind of put off the whole thing, isn't it? That's good, that's okay. Thank you so much. The food is looking absolutely amazing guys. Um, Dion has went for the classic burger. Stephanie has went for a pasta dish. <laughs> Galicia's not too happy at first. <laughs> I think she's not too happy she's got a fork. Thank you. So we're all done with food guys and we're now going to head into the show bar or maybe it's the arcades. left the intim complex um had a couple of games of bingo and stuff we went to go to the laundrette um just closed about half an hour before we got there so we don't mind we're going to pick it up tomorrow i think it works out better because it's quite a heavy load and we're going to carry it up me and stephanie's had a few drinks and i think it'll be best to come down with the van tomorrow anyway so it just worked out just fine and we are now heading back off to the caravan I really wanted to get this camera out in the low light just to see how good it is. Mm -hmm. 